Thank you, Esther. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I was going to do a little bit for my one-woman show, but I had a kind of a rough day, so I was just writing down my feelings, and this is what I wrote, and thank you for being here. I have spent my entire life as a garbage can, being filled to the brim with people dumping their negativity in me, and I took it. Problems that needed to be addressed directly with someone else, but I took it. I'm creating a new label for myself. No trash accepted here! Because then I overfill, and I start littering on others. I'm tired of living in the land of denial, tired of living in the land of fear, when we don't stand up to bullies and polluters and pretenders. Pretty, pretty Christmas cards, where exaggerated smiles gloss over a lifetime of misunderstandings, unspoken yearnings, and decades of saying this to that person, and that person tells that person, and the only person who doesn't hear it is the very person who needs to hear it. Because we're scared. We need a safe place, like a tea shop, or a coffee shop, or a bonfire, where we're not under anyone's thumb, and there's not one thumbnail of judgment, good or bad, where we're free to be real, and we're able to breathe, and breathe again, and again. And pretty soon our breath becomes our life. We take in a lot, and we exhale a lot. And our spirit is welcome home. Thank you, Coffee Hag, for this breathing room. To all of you, who are brave enough to show up. Thank you for being a witness to me so I can remember who I am. It's impossible to be heard when no one is listening. I almost gave up. But little by little I found kindred spirits and I realized I wasn't alone. Others felt like me, had kept their precious vitality covered with trash. We held hands, sometimes invisible hands because they were so far away. But we felt our energies connect, and that's the most important thing, to feel. Now I have John, too, my traveling poet nephew, and all of you who refuse to be receptacles for other people's garbage. Thank you. <laughs>